hello 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 welcome back guys to my youtube channel if you're seeing the screen then you know which video we're gonna continue yes today we're gonna continue our second part of the u darmstadt video where i will be showing how to apply for ics course which is information and communication systems in the first part of the video i already gone through the requirement analysis for ics course inside the tu dumpster website and also we got to know what are the documents that we need to submit and how to submit and we have to post it at the end after that also we got to know that we have to take a exam which is of 120 minutes and you have to give that exam and also get that result then also we have to provide that result in while applying so these all things would be helpful and also they mentioned there is no deadline uh, there is a deadline for application but uh, they won't start giving admission after the deadline so as soon as you process and finish the application then they will process it fast then you will get an early admission people who comes early so first come first so it's how they have said it in the requirement analysis video if you want to uh, dive deep and understand all requirements that we have talked i would suggest you guys to go check out our tu darmstadt ics requirement analysis for the dad first then also application video of tu darmstadt the first part okay and today we will be going to second part of the uh, tu darmstadt video for ics where i will be loading the course and filling in the all required uh, details that they ask for say example for secondary school living certificate bachelor certificate and giving all required documents and submitting the application at the end if this part will extend above 16 minutes then i will also cut it to two parts so that i can also make it part three okay but yeah before that if you're new to this channel then i would really suggest you to please click on like share and subscribe and also please share this video with the people who are in need and if you are new to this channel and you're watching this video at for the first time then i suggest please go check on our playlist of dad websites where we have done already requirement analysis of 33 37 colleges then you can also check out our over 70 videos that we have done for german public university application videos so these are the things that i wanted to let you know before we started then we can get started today if you know last time we ended at the registration form and we clicked on register and i told you as soon as you click on register you will receive a mail that i how i am showing so they will give you a tu uh, tu id then also give uh, give you a one time password which you will give and log in after that you as soon as you log in at the first time then you have to change your password to desired password which you like okay but this email i couldn't show in the first part because i had already created an account because we already applied for tu can for different course so that's the reason we didn't get it but in this video after once you got this you can select the email id then go to give your tu id here then you can give this password if you're a first first time uh, login guy but i have already logged in and changed my password so i will give my desired password that i have chosen then i will click on announce so once we click on announce we will get logged in and you can also see here your name from which you have registered and these are the information that they have given you can also lo look and read how do i apply for study program complete the application you have to uh, fill in all my application details where you will have online application you will be asked to provide your personal data requirements and create an application form filled out accordingly your information okay you can call up and edit application that is not sent to any time then please do not submit the online application until you have received the certificate of your university entrance qualification that is general university entrance qualification abitur okay then thus your average grade sending application and document depending on the information you provide underlying uh, admission procedure and application or simply a uh, information sheet will be generated after the electronic submission so once we finish and uh, submit the application uh, electronic application form will be generated so in your account my application you will see the application you have saved and overview page you need to submit an application you can check on the account in the corresponding application under document to be submitted take form it uh, it, it further documents are required these may be submitted under documents and submitted so you will be submitted the example while submitting the necessary documents but if they ask you to submit more documents then you have to go under the document section then document should be submitted document should be finished okay before you submit then if an application is submitted the application is only binding upon the receipt of the printed application by the end of uh, application data for individual degree program this deadline is cut off period okay application submitted via online have a print link where you need to generate a print your application if no application to be submitted only information sheet is generated so i would say you have to submit it then print link will be generated you have to print the application okay then what happens next 
with your application you will find out about the admission you change the degree program rejection by email this can take place few weeks depending on the procedures until then you you can find out the status of application in my app uh, my application you can read the meaning of each status here in addition it's always important to check yourself whether you you are still in documents to be submitted you can find out about this in the application portal documents under to be submitted please click on the menu okay then display the column status only when all documents have been submitted does the menu change to documents complete okay but i have also not uh, got an information about you have to submit or post the documents but yeah we will look in the future too but yeah <clears throat> these are the information that i wanted to give you then directly you can click on my application once you clicked on my application you have to fill in the are you enrolled into your damn in current semester no as soon as you clicked on no you can search in the range of courses that we are searching then component will be all admission requirements will be all i think the type of study would be masters then semester would be first then semester would be all then if you click on search then you will get the complete list of master degree courses that are uh, from first semester and everybody can apply so we will be go to information and communication system which is ics and here it is uh, information and communication engineering winter semester non-restricted and this is the course that we are applying and here you can just see that tu can application portal is open for international student for following degree from march 1st and we are make we are already inside the application uh, registration or uh, application date so that's the reason we are making a video and this is a used for an example to apply via a present foreign registration office there is a cutoff period for some degree program the ap exact application deadline can be found here but we couldn't find the exact deadline so please i would say apply as soon as possible for admission to a master degree program bachelor degree program in reference to program of technical university of darmstadt and an e up equivalent degree is required okay then equivalence degree checked by responsible document and entrance examination will take for purpose okay in the entrance examination specific entrance skills must be proven uh, that i already told you have to take a online test and generate a certificate of that you have to provide that certificate when you are applying okay and if you are unsure whether you meet the entry skills of master degree program you can also apply for a bachelor degree program in the higher semester in this same degree program a master application does not procedure parallel application so this it's fine because you cannot know what is the entrance examination or uh, are you meeting the requirements so if you have done pass the all online application test and you have specific electrical engineering required degree or which are closely related degree then please i would suggest please apply then proof of passing uh, passing the test online test then the certificate of passing online test must be submitted with your application otherwise your application cannot be processed okay as i told you the main thing is you have to take the online test uh, parallelly and finish it and pass it then you have to submit the online test passing certificate with, with the application okay then you can click on apply after that you can just check here start the application process desired course of study questions about the ed educational path and contact other things so the first thing would be we can click on start application process once you clicked on start application process start the application and here it asks for the component information and communication engineering yes and we are w w applying for master of science then we can save it and click on further once you click on further you have the option saying that where did you obtain your original school living certificate example general university entrance qualification abitur abitur is nothing but your 10th plus 12th or second puc completion so where you have done the general university entrance qualification so we have done it in uh, foreign school abroad foreign school in germany german school abroad german school in germany but i would say foreign school in abroad because both uh, all three options will be uh, striked out for us then if you have obtained the university entrance qualification at a preparatory college please select foreign school abroad here you have will be specified that preparatory college in later section okay so have you already studied past studies have you already studied yes location of your bachelor degree where have you obtained your bachelor degree not in german then you can click on save then you can click on further now they are asking that you are responsible for the department v triple i a because this is the v triple i a is the institute that are offering information and communication systems then i will take a note that hint then uh, we are just clicking the continue button and accepting the terms and condition then you can save and click on further after this it will ask university degree master application clicking the continue button will you take place to next section so it is asking do you have already, uh, already have a degree so here i am thinking this means do you have, uh, have already have a degree that means do we have already a degree certificate for our bachelor so that's that's what i'm thinking so maybe we can click on yes and click on save and click on further once you clicked on that have it will ask for your master degree science of english language course that you field the english language test i have done is ielts 7 8 to uh, 7 to 8 so i would select ielts 7 7 to 8 because i had 7 so people who have not uh, in the area 
you should not select uh, you should not select b1 because b1 if you select you will get a rejection you should have minimum b2 we we did check this uh, requirement analysis in the dart website so please check out the requirement analysis if you if you have any confusion so usually i will select c1 then you can click on save and further and you can just see once we gave gave in the language instruction that how much our language that we have completed or the certificate that we have it said language skill is sufficient say example if you have filled with b1 certificate then it would have been said language uh, skill is not sufficient you cannot apply uh, apply for this particular course like that then language skill is sufficient then we can click on proceed with the application we'll click on save and click on further now once you clicked on continue then it will ask for now uh, please enter the personal data and personal data for studying so here in the personal data for uh, personal data it asks for your four name uh, surname then date of birth place of birth and your country of birth then also you have if you have second nationality please select your second nationality then if you have studied in the tu dumped out past no that's the reason we have selected no then required data completed studies yes i will say why because note application semester application semester is a semester for which you are applying and not not a currently current semester okay then if you are applying for a master program please answer the question with yes even though if you if you will finish your previous studies until the next two semester or at least one semester so i would suggest please select yes here completed studies because even though if you are about to finish in next six months your bachelor degree then other early admission at tu dumpster early enrollment at tu dumpster would be all no because we have never studied in tu dumpster this is the first application that we are applying for then that's the reason we selected all these information then we can click on save and click on further now after filling the basic details it asks for the addresses address where they can reach you all the time so please give in your address where you are living so i would say i will give in the indian address so that would be easy now you can just see i have given the address that they can contact then this is a fake address but yeah i'm just given just to show you guys how you can apply then after filling your address please fill in your home address then you can click on save and click on further please this is the important because they will send all information postcode to this uh, just uh, address that you have pasted so after clicking further then you will be redirected to university entrance qualification that you have to fill in but here university entrance qualification we will do it in third part and we will fill in all details and submit the application in third part because it's already too much so i would say please check for the part two also and we are stopping at the university entrance qualification where we have to fill in details so in the next part of part three i will fill in or start from university entrance qualification then i will show you how to apply in the part three and submitting the application too see you in next video until then check here bye bye